Uh, good morning, everybody. So, still hunting for the battle damaged Spinosaurus. This Walmart right here has had them in stock on Brickseek since I think Saturday. So, this is my fifth time coming here, and they still haven't put them out yet. So, I'm gonna walk around the store and see if I can find this thing. If not, there's one other Walmart that also says they had it in stock, and I've been to that one six times. So, getting a little tired coming here. So, hopefully, I get lucky today. I well, just did a lap around the store and nothing, but just always checking the aisle, see what they have. Just some old Roar of Wars and some of the Savage Strikes, and that's pretty much it for this Walmart. Well, another bust out. Walked around the whole store. Absolutely nothing. You know, this Spinosaurus comes in a huge shipper, and people have been finding them. It's randomly found all over the place in Walmart, so I've done, like, so many laps around this store and the other store I'm heading to now. So, wish me luck heading to the second Walmart, see what we can find there. All right, stop number two. I've been to this one six times on uh, Brick Seek. I said they got them in stock on uh, last Friday night. I've been here every single day since then. So, let's go take a look and see what they got. Well, that's a good sign. So, this should be out soon. Well, that makes me happy that they have a planogram out for the Spinosaurus to hopefully be out soon. I always like checking out this Walmart. They always have a really good Jurassic World toy selection. They have some old Roarvors, a lot of the new ones. A ton of battle damage Baryonyx, a bunch of Albertosaurs, and they got in a bunch of the battle damage figures. Still no Plesiosaurus. I have no idea when that's ever going to show up here. And an absolute ton of Savage Strike, and they have so much stuff. They have it all stocked up. On the top shelf too this is definitely my favorite walmart that i go to i also collect transformers too so yesterday when i was here they finally put out the shipper of the 35th anniversary transformers same thing with this one just like the spinosaurus is being put in random spots around the store i did grab that blue streak yesterday when i was here it's a walmart exclusive it's the only one i really wanted from the 35th anniversary line it was tempting to get the sound blaster but i'm saving my money for that spinosaurus and they have a lot of figures in this section well, another bust out, but much better sign. I'm glad I saw they had the planogram up in the seasonal aisle. That That's where they're going to be displaying the Spinosaurus. And now at least I don't have to keep doing laps around this store and trying to figure out where they're going to put this thing. And the best part is the seasonal aisle is literally like the first section when you walk into this store. So they probably either put it out sometime today. I saw a lot of pallets on the floor. I gave them a quick look. I didn't see any uh, shippers that had the Spinosaurus in it. So I'll probably come back probably tonight the check and maybe hopefully by tonight or tomorrow the spinosaurus will be out and i can just stop coming to walmart's because i'm getting really really tired of it i don't think i've walked around a walmart so much than i have this last week so check back tonight and see what they got so just ran the target quick after i left that last walmart they have a 25 percent off coupon off the purchase of one toy just ran in there to grab this in the Pseudoceratops. I've been wanting to do another repaint on this figure since the images of what it looked like in Battle of Big Rock came out. So I've been wanting to do it in that color scheme. So painting this guy today will keep me occupied until I run back to that Walmart that had the uh, planogram set up for the Spinosaurus. So got a few hours to kill, so I'll be painting this thing. All right, round seven at this Walmart. I was here yesterday and they had the planogram out, so hopefully they're out. It is a windy, rainy, and humid Halloween in Rhode Island, which is very odd for this time of year. So let's head on in and see what they got. Ugh. Strike out yet again. So another bust out. No, one week straight I've been coming to this Walmart. Still haven't put it out yet. Oh, that means I have to come here tomorrow on the first of the month, and Walmart is just an absolute pleasure on the first well be checking in tomorrow well it's round eight this is my eighth time at this walmart and it's the first of the month i'm dreading going in but hopefully it's out this time nothing again but it looks like they're doing a lot of reset in all the aisles around that there was a ton of pallets on the floor i gave the pallets a look over i didn't see the shipper with the spino in it but the aisle these toys are supposed to be in is right next to the Halloween aisle and, and they're clearing everything off and they have like planogram papers all over the place. So maybe later on today, I'll 
hope maybe they'll put it out. I don't know. I get out of work later tonight. Maybe on my way home, I'll just pop in one more time before I have to dread coming to a Walmart on a Saturday. So uh, I'll be back later. All right, trip 712 to this Walmart. On my way here, I checked the app and it says it was actually available for pickup in the store. So hopefully that means they're on the shelf. So yay, my favorite time coming here during the first of the month. Oh, are you kidding me? It says available for pickup on the site. I'm so tired of coming here. All right, so it's not on the shelf. Again, this is my ninth time here, nine days in a row. So I asked two employees if they knew what this was, even though it says in stock, you know, available for pickup. I can even order it through the app. No one had any idea what I was talking about. So while I was standing in the store, I ordered it through the app. Hopefully I'll be getting an email shortly that I can come pick it up. I'll come back again later on tonight. And, you know, make one of them go in the back and dig it out because I'm just so tired of looking for this thing. Like, I really, really want it, but my patience is wearing thin. I, I, I totally get, I mean, I work in retail. I know how hard it is to, you know, just to set up a, a department and stuff, but I just really want to get my hands on this thing. So hopefully I'll get an email shortly that I can come back here and pick it up and I don't have to come back to Walmart again for a while. So I just got this email about 20 minutes after I placed my order through the app. So I guess... This shipper is still buried somewhere in the back and they, they can't get to these things. But you know what? I'm okay with that now. I pretty much secured one, so it gives me a break from going back and forth to this Walmart. You know, I'm in Rhode Island. Anyone that lives here knows everything is really close by. You know, I got two Walmarts within 10 minutes of me. So I don't have to do a lot of driving to go back and forth, but it'll be nice not to go tomorrow or Monday, hopefully. Maybe I'll even get an email that it's ready earlier. So I'll check back in when this order is ready for pickup. All right, remember the part I said I don't have to worry about the Spinosaurus anymore? Well, the next day I got an email saying that my order is now canceled. The items are no longer in stock. So I just stopped recording myself going to these Walmarts and checking. I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing that. So I know for a fact the two Walmarts I've been going to haven't put these Spinosaurus out yet. But, you know, I ordered for in-store pickup. It said it would be delayed. I figured it would just, you know, taking time to put the shipper on the shelf. I have been back there the last few days and the planogram is still on the shelf and these things are nowhere to be found but now my order is canceled but the other day after i saw this was canceled i ordered another one off the other walmart for in-store pickup and same thing you know half hour later i got an email saying the item's no longer in stock it will be delayed until tuesday but good news is it actually is available today today's tuesday as I'm recording this, it is available for pickup in the store, but it looks like it got shipped, even though the store is supposed to have some. And then to make things more confusing, right after I placed the order at the second Walmart, I checked Brick Seek again, and both those Walmarts that said they had, you know, six plus in stock, now say out of stock. Same thing on the app. So I have no idea what's going on. I know for a fact these two Walmarts have not put these things out on the shelves, so I really don't know what's going on, but I am happy right now that. There is one sitting for pickup at a store right now. So after I get out of work today, I'll be heading there and I can finally pick it up. And this little nightmare of mine will be over. All right. I just got to the Walmart where I ordered the Spinosaurus and I just went into in-store pickup and grabbed it. And it came in the biggest box for some reason. So I just cut the tape. I haven't looked in yet. Let's see what it looks like. Ugh this up my whole front seat of my car and there it is the battle damaged spinosaurus what a pain it was to get my hands on this thing let's check out the battle damage how does it work hmm. very cool looking so let's do a quick recap so 12 days ago two walmarts near me Got them in stock, said it was in stock on BrickSeek. Actually even said it was in stock on the Walmart app. I went almost every day. I've probably been to both these Walmarts combined about 20 times. And there was a planogram on the shelf at one of them in the seasonal aisle. And actually even on the app, it even told me what aisle this was supposed to be in. They never put them out. And then uh, it said, you know, after I was there one time, the last time, said it was available for in-store pickup. So I ordered it. 20 minutes later, I get an email saying your order is going to be delayed till Tuesday. And then the next morning, I got an email saying it's out of stock. Your order is canceled, even though I know for a fact that Walmart never 
put them put them out. So then I ordered it on from the second Walmart. Same thing, 20 minutes later, email, uh, your order will be delayed until Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. And then on Brickseek and on the Walmart app, both Walmarts said they're out of stock, yet they never put them on the shelves. So I was just dreading that I was going to get an email from the second Walmart that I wasn't going to get it. But luckily this morning, I checked it. It said it was shipping to the store for some reason, even though you know this Walmart said they had them in stock. And I got the email that it was ready for pickup. So I am finally happy to add this Battle Damage Spinosaurus to my collection. I hope everyone else that is still looking for this thing has a much easier time than I did. But it was definitely worth the wait. Definitely a cool figure. So expect a review on this thing probably either tomorrow or the next day. So this was my uh, first toy hunting adventure video for the channel. Let me know if you like it. Uh, I'll probably be doing a few more now since uh, Primal Attack has just started hitting shelves. Yay. But at least I get to go to Target now. I can kind of cross off Walmart off my list for a little while. So I will be hunting for those new Primal Attack attack packs. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously. And it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.